we've had a swarm here this morning, uh, May 12th. That's a little late in the year, so it's a late swarm. Uh, but I'm going to, we were able to get out here with a pot and pan and bang on it, and that makes them kind of settle in one space, place, the, the vibration of that, the frequency. Uh, frequency is a phenomenal thing, but this particular frequency makes them uh, go ahead and land instead of traveling. So they're up here in this tree. Uh, they came from this hive right here closest to me and we're gonna retrieve them and put them in a new hive. I'm gonna show you how that's done. It's a, it's a lot of fun catching a swarm of bees and uh, not having them move off and uh, then we can continue to share the wealth of the overflow of the honey with them. So let's do that. Without getting stung. A new uh, hive looks like on the inside when it's just the foundation for the bees to draw out. It's not drawn out yet. And I've taken half of the frames out because we're going to put the, the bees down in here that are on the limb so that they'll be inside of the hive then and we can close it up and then they'll migrate over over the next few days uh, to, to this honeycomb and start drawing it out and then we'll eventually shake them off and put the rest of the frames in here and then they will be at home in their new hive. Uh, so that's what that looks like. for a minute let them settle in get back on there and uh, hopefully the queen was not in that group that fell off or otherwise they'll they'll leave so trimming this up so that it's easier to handle them so are these escapees from your uh, beehives down below yes They wanted to make a more comfortable home in the tree, huh? It's just basic reproduction. I see. They all do it every year for the propagation of the species. Uh -huh. Swarming is, is what? Uh, when they leave the hive with a new queen to make a new new hive. I see. Th this is a swarm. Okay. As you can see, they're swarming, so that's why they call it a swarm, of course. So they are coming back, it looks like. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting back up here. They're, they're figuring it out. So the queen's still there? Yes, it would appear so. Now, I could just go ahead and take this down there right now, but there's probably a thousand bees up here that fell off when I tilted it. Uh -huh. And uh, I want to recover them because a new hive needs all the bees that it can get. Okay. And so I don't want to lose those bees, so. I'm going to give them a little bit of time. How would to, you lose them? Wouldn't they gravitate to where? Well, uh, see, they just came out of that, that old hive down there. Oh, I see. And uh, if they don't know where they're going, they'll just go back to the old hive. And so I would lose them to the old hive. Is that bad? Well, they, they need, uh, see, it'll take them a couple of weeks to draw enough comb out to have it deep enough to lay eggs to grow new bees. So I they're. See. They're uh, a month away from, and, and so all of them have got to live and bring in pollen and honey and nectar and water and do all the chores. And as they die off, they will attrit down to, until the new ones start coming online. Now, I'm gonna help the process out. Sure. Because I'm gonna go into one of those old hives and take a couple of frames of brood out uh -huh. so that they'll start hatching out immediately. Uh -huh. So I'm going to facilitate that process. This one here is examining me crucially, yeah, one was critically, has <laughs> that funny sound like I'm supposed to be here and you're not. Huh. They make an unhappy sound when they want you to leave. I see. Yeah, this one's uh, not happy with me. One out of a couple thousand is not bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except it does still have an impact. <laughs> Your name? 
Gabe. Hey, Gabe. Gabe, Gabe, he heard that song too. I heard him packing yeah. off. Yeah, he, uh, he got, he tuned right in on that frequency, didn't he? Yeah, he said, wait a minute. And he, this bee just headbutted me. And uh -huh. that's a sure sign that they don't want you around. When they start hitting you, uh -huh. they're telling you, leave. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to ease back over here a little bit. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and go down the ladder. Because he's continuing to tell me to leave. Because while I may be brave, I'm not a fool. Yeah. <laughs> Hive reducer in the front of this just to so that the other bees won't tend to rob them out so that they'll uh, be able to protect their hive a little easier here. All right, I think we're ready to go up and retrieve them. Okay, so virtually all of the bees are did just what I wanted them to. They they moved up on this onto this branch. That's what a swarm of bees looks like close up. If they start hitting you, it's time to move back. If they're just flying around. But they'll warn you to get out of their area. They'll start headbutting you. Huh. And so uh, you can feel that. So how do you do that? Oh my gosh. I can see why you wear gloves. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you could do this barehanded. They would not be stinging me right now. They're not stinging me. Uh -huh. They're just on there because I was available. So I'm going to knock these down into the hive. Just kind of shake them off. Welcome to your new home, ladies. you what bees in their new hive wow so they all find that hole and that's where they go through huh yep they're all in there and they learn where to come in and out 